my going. philosophy for life is this mm -hmm. to whom much is given much is required mm. you know so if you are giving ministry pursue it if you are giving music pursue it to the fullest so whatever i think that god has given me uh, i'm pursuing it for the fullest i'm an academic i'm a lecturer at pentecost university mm. and um, if you want to pursue academia to you know um, the topmost a phd is a given that's so, right uh, so i have to i have to just uh, the earlier i take that blow the better better i know yeah. i know you're very good you know when it comes to writing and all that so yeah. the term papers will be very easy for you and yeah, easy. <laughs> what but, are you what are you studying for your doctorate uh, media and communication oh, i am uh, nice. yeah my research areas are uh, uh, media ideology advertising i actually mm. lecture in advertising in pentecost university okay so intro to advertising advertising copywriting oh. and all the advertising kind of courses Right. So my interest, research interest, mainly is in advertising and um, gender ideologies. Oh, wow. So my, for my um, MPhil thesis, mm. I looked into a gender ideology called um, hypermasculinity hey. and how it plays out in um, advertisement of uh, alcoholic beverages in Ghana. <laughs> Well, that, that, that is really interesting. Like, what, what do you want to achieve with that? Do you still want to remain a lecturer with that, or you want to be like a consultant after the doctorate, or you know, go to the to, to becoming a professor? I mean, what, what do you want to do? I love my books. Oh, <laughs> I great! Love, I love imparting knowledge, um, whether it is biblical knowledge or it is you know um, academic knowledge. I love it. Mm. So, um, I want I want to pursue it to the latter. Mm. Maybe become a professor. You know, hey, like professor, I can say like that. Yeah, yeah no, but of course, then you'll be, you'll be consulting for big firms. You of know, course, and all that. Yeah. of course, the MTNs yeah. and the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blows and all those. Chop their money so. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> come down your ministry. Yeah, the your ministry. Yeah, the very great, great, great. Now, I mean, VGMA just you know happened mm. the, the mm. previous week. Mm. The whole. Um, Euphoria surrounding the, the artists yeah. of the year, gospel yeah. music, trying to push your way through. Mm. What, what, what do you think of that or what do you make of that? I think um, gospel music have made um, a lot of strides over the years. And uh, it, is only, it is only fair that those things play out when it comes to um, award systems, especially mm. if it is a Ghana music award system because gospel music plays a big part of music consumption in Ghana um, the last time I was making um, a statement I was I was on um, one of these platforms talking about the strides that gospel has made mm. and I was quoting a research work done by um, Fiona Cow in 2014 and Fiona Carl, together with um, Professor Collins, who is like heavily invested when it comes to research into music in Ghana, mm. and um, a couple of academics, researchers, agree that highlight the genre we call highlight yeah. in Ghana has been preserved by the gospel alternative to the genre. That's right. What it means is that. If gospel musicians didn't venture into highlight music, highlight music would have gone extinct. Mm. You know, but gospel musicians have kept the genre high life up until this time. And they gave very, very practical examples as um, let me just cite a few. For example, the style of high life we call Awoyu. Yes. Um, um, a secular song that is in that style will be. I don't know whether it's a Popular, secular song. Uh, with uh, Batman. No, this one. Um, um, Rexo Mas, Marble. Oh, Marble. oh, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, that yes. style. I think OJ2 has a, a song in OJ that style. OJ has, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've OJ2 to it. Right. Uh, yeah. that's, that song. That style of. And then Press Gift to has. Has something song. like yeah, that. Yeah, like that. That style of high life music would have been lost if not for the involvement and the preservation of the Mozambique Disco Christo Church. It's true. 
that's their style of yeah. music in the yeah. church. Not just them, um, most of the Saturday, they call it Miminda, you know, yes. the, the, a beautiful cancer, those, yes. yeah. Again, there's another high lifestyle called Sichi. Mm. That's the style that um, um, Mama Dugan's song, um, what's the name? What's the name? Mm. Currently, I can't, I can't recollect any secular song that is in that style. Mm. And that's a, that's a high lifestyle. Okay. But there's no secular song in our realm currently that is in that style. Mm. But there are several gospel songs that is in that style. That's right. They're, even Adwa, some way, somehow, is being preserved yes. by gospel. Yes. There's, there's gospel at the one that we hear on the airwaves and yeah, all that. Yeah. So gospel music has some kind of preservative quality for our local musical styles. If not for gospel music, a lot of them would have gone extinct. But why, why is it not recognized? Because when we talk of a high life song of the year, you hardly see a gospel song nominated in that category or reggae song of the year. God, God is working, should have won a regular song of the year. Like, you get what I'm saying? Why don't, why did they group us like gospel artists of the year, gospel song of the year? Mm. Meanwhile, we are doing all kinds of journals when it comes to music. We are doing reggae, we are doing high life, yeah. we are doing hip hop even. Yeah. Why did they leave us out? I, I think it's because of the, um, the disposition of the award scheme and how they have defined mm. the categories. It is also, it can largely also be con- um, attributed to how gospel music started okay when gospel music started and when the um, awards kicked off this is the 24th year mm. so if we trace it back uh, we are entering into the early 90s yeah okay the style of gospel music that was in vogue around the time were only two styles the high life and the, the um, what you call it reggae yeah so largely, it was expedient that they just box all of them up and say gospel song mm. of the year. But now, gospel music has entered into different kinds of genres. You have the likes of Kinskid, Esaias, Regardless, mention them, a whole host of them. even song, Mapeke, could be really yeah. fit for Afro Doing... song of the year or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Now you have, look, when it goes to the Afro Kuali, a lot of them, um, Scott Evans, yes. great great musician there's this guy called edem evangelist. edem evangelist yes he has a collaboration with this afro big afro that, that guy limo blaze he has a collaboration yeah. with limo blaze wow and limo blaze is like the biggest afro gospel yeah. icon yeah in africa yeah okay so i think that gospel music is venturing into various genres and um, the award scheme must must reform its disposition to accommodate all that so that we can see those ones coming also thrive. But I can understand, the award scheme is a popular award scheme. It's based on popularity. So if the songs are not rotating on air, you are likely not going to catch the eye of the people who do the research. When we talk about rotating on air, gospel music cuts across, like even for drive time presenters, before they even start their show, they start the gospel music before they even go ahead with any other thing. Now, when it comes to church, there's no way we're going to say, oh, you're too perceptive, like I can't say, I start here, sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get it? Mm-hmm. So when it comes to church, it's strictly gospel. When, it, when, it, when you go to even night clubs, mm-hmm. are playing gospel music. Mm-hmm. They play a whole lineup of gospel music. You know, I've seen videos um, circulating, I mean, mm-hmm. viral videos where they're playing gospel music at the night clubs and they're mm-hmm. all jamming to it. Yeah. And so if you're talking about popular songs, mm-hmm. gospel music should actually fit in um, and fit in well. Their definition of popular may be different mm. because they are looking for media popular. Okay. Popularity on, in the media. And you know that when you, when you do a careful study of the Ghanaian media landscape, it does not. The mainstream media does not favor gospel. Mm, that's right. For instance, uh, morning show hosts, they play one gospel song to start the show. Every show starts with a gospel song and that's I it. I don't know why they even do that. And that's on radio and except, yeah. except Sundays where you have gospel music on rotation. Gospel is just relegated to Sundays. But the chunk of media airplay is given to secular musicians. Mm. And so if we need to tackle this, 
then we have to tackle it from there. That we have to have proper representation of gospel on our airwaves. Like if, and especially for the gender-centric um, programs, mm -hmm. the Afrobeats, let gospel musicians must start creating, you see, and this is a strategy for infiltrating our media landscape. Yeah. Gospel musicians must look at what our media plays and deliberately create songs mm. that will fit those 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 places and push them there. If the if if Afrobeat is what our media is playing, let's create alternative songs, mm. Afrobeat gospel songs, and find ways to infiltrate those areas. That's the only way we can actually grasp a portion of the media landscape for ourselves you know and right now the war for kingdom is not a war that you win sitting in your living room mm -mm. you must be strategic about it and media power is one of the wars that the the the, the church and the kingdom will, will be fighting in these end times let's start fighting it now wow. This is a great submission. I hope that you, those who have heard, ears have heard it. One is coming, mm -hmm. cousin is coming about, and then I hear that your management, some people have left you and some people are with you and all that. Oh, what is this? <laughs> How are we going to manage <laughs> this concert without them? Look, um, well, it's life. Yeah, interest shift, you know, and uh, people find new things doing I, and i think it's part of life but why is it that with christians when things like this happen you don't let people know like it, it, there should be a communication that says oh interest has shifted as you said i mean it's, it's normal even the bible people find found their separate ways all in the name of the gospel and yeah, the yeah. Gospel did well. why can't we, you you you're doing communication why can't you come out or oh, whoever the party is oh i'm no longer with this person you know so if you want to contact me yeah go through this channel so that people don't keep going back to that person you know and there's there isn't a lot of talking and then you know um i would say bad news the was background but you know gossip yeah. around it you just set the record straight i mean after all people come to your life yeah. after their deal is done they're gone i mean it's, mm. it's part of life mm. Mm. well sometimes it's important how you manage some of these things you don't want to glamorize it mm. yeah okay <laughs> when people leave places it's, you don't hear my, i mean if you were working with um mtn and you left mtn you want mtn to make a whole hula baloo about you are leaving no it's not it's not important and uh, i believe in the biblical principle in first samuel um, when, um, when the guy who came to David saying that he killed Saul mm. and he saw Saul die and uh, Saul actually asked him to kill him. So yeah. the guy was expecting that David, David would him reward up. him mm. and all that. In actual fact, the guy lost his life for that. That's right. But my lesson is what David did with that information mm. to educate his mighty men. He says, tell it not in that. Yes. Publish it not in the streets of Ascalon. Mm. Nor the sons of the Philistines rejoice. Yes. There are things that I believe that Christians should not publish. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I get it. All you are looking for is news and controversy. And before you know it, everybody yes. is picking it. But people actually will write on that as a communication person. You're going to get platform setting platforms of free just to explain why this person left and that person left and you feel that like, oh it's great publicity for you that's not my strategy you know mm. me i'm not a, somebody that is given to controversies and those kinds of things i'm a yeah. very, i'm a very um peace loving person mm. but when i speak they are the life <laughs> <laughs> Oh great! I mean, and and so you are with um. You said you, somebody signed you up in the UK. Was it, is it a record no, label or distribution? It's a distribution uh, deal. I've always okay. had I've always had international distribution deals. Oh great! Um, I left Petra mm. in Brazil wow. to join um, Wings in the UK. 
So I've always had these international distribution deals. That's great. Yeah, that's that's basically distribution. It's not record label. It's not 360. No. It's just for the distribution of mm. my music, mm. and you know how these things work. They can plug it. Yeah. Um, yeah. In different places for mm. us to be able to, you know, um, get into certain systems. That's great. Yeah. That, that's good to hear. Now, let's zoom into the events. I mean, this planned recording is it's coming off on yeah. the twenty. 7th of May is a Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. The main concert. Mm -hmm. When is that happening? The concert is the Awakening Live. Awakening. So you move from the um, Carnival. Carnival. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. we are re-strategizing. I believe that we'll get back to the Carnival in good time. It shouldn't stop crying. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Carnival mm. is something on my heart. You know mm. me, I'm an out and out person. I'm like your gospel musician evangelist. <laughs> Take me anywhere. That's the kind of person I am. But um, just so that we can have diversity in our productions mm. and all of that and mm. can be able to push it into certain places that are here to our music haven't been able to go. We added this um, event. To, Wakening. Yeah. We'll get back to no, um, we'll give you more details. Honey. I'm sure he's going to come back to talk about yeah. this event proper, yeah. Yeah. of course, probably with some of his um other guest ministers joining him. So, this is just for you to know that when you are part of this 27th, I'm sure probably you get discounts. <laughs> <That's the main laughs> Make sure you go and register for this recording uh session on the 27th of May at EWC. Jowly, right? Yeah, Jowly. Great, great, great. I mean, if you've not been to that place before, take this as an opportunity to see this beautiful place. It's a great, great, great um, auditorium they have there in Jowly. Anyway, yes, he's also a pastor at EWC, in case you didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the EWC and I him from the Church of Pentecost. Oh, don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there. Anytime I see, I say that. <laughs> <laughs> now, God bless the Church of Pentecost. You guys are doing great. Oh, yeah, yeah. my yeah. people. 